Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. And this video is brought to you by the Delta Exchange, here you can trade all the cryptos that you want up to 100x leverage, this is the place where I'm trading the most and here even if you're not a professional trader you can generate some passive income by just keeping your cryptos here. We have several features how to generate some passive income, not only here with some great API you can make some money but also if you for example use the unique robo strategies. This is a copy trade feature where you can also generate some passive income and here you have even more features so check it out. All the links are down below here to Delta Exchange and if you use my sign up link you can get up to $30,000 in trading bonus. So now let's dive straight here into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because as expected we had this breakout to the downside from this descending wedge. Yesterday I uploaded a warning video because here a breakout was imminent, money flow was starting to decrease here and also uh, we had this bearish pattern. So the target in theory is down here at around $46,500. So as you can see we didn't reach the target yet. But uh, here in the lower time frames, it looks like that we are potentially coming down to finally test again this price level because I'm expecting here a potential double bottom formation in the four hour time frame and afterwards have a potential breakout to the upside towards the 60k area. But until then, there is a very high chance that we are staying in this consolidation down here between 50 to $46,000 before we potentially create here the second bottom and afterwards have a big push to the upside. If we would fall below this support here, then things will start to look extremely ugly because the next targets are below $40,000. But if Bitcoin here is able to create this double bottom formation, we have very good chances for a trend reversal because in the four hour, we are still in a downtrend and even though we are in this consolidation phase at around $48,000, you can see that money flow is still decreasing and also the RSI is still below the 50 level. So as long as we have four hour closes, let's say below $50,000, so below this previous resistance, which now is back into resistance mode, then we should face some more momentum here to the downside. And I think the target here of $46,500 is very likely to be reached if here we are not able to immediately recover back up above $50,000 and start to close four hour candles above 50k so above the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame and even better above the EMA ribbons. Currently the top is here at $51,000. So the four hour time frame is still remaining bearish as long as we have four hour closes below $50,000. And if we head over into the daily time frame, here you can still see that we have a lot of work to do in order to call an uptrend again in the daily time frame because for now we still have lower lows, lower highs. So all kinds of rallies here are ending up in lower highs and that is of course very bearish. So in order to be again more bullish here on the daily time frame, I want to see at least daily closes above the 20 daily moving average at around $54,000 and even better above $56,000 the top of the EMA ribbons and also where we have this resistance trend line which is coming down from this falling wedge that we had. So if Bitcoin can recover back into this uh, falling wedge and also break out to the upside from the resistance trend line, I'm going to open up big long positions because right now I just have some very small longs with no leverage opened up here on Delta Exchange just to be ready if Bitcoin would have a big bounce to the upside because we are still maintaining the support of the 200 daily moving average at $46,600 and also this important trend line here that we have which is coming from the last tops that we had. And here again you can see what could happen if we would see daily closes below the 200 daily moving average. You can see that down here we have a lot of room to fall and even if we have somewhere some support levels for example here at 40k I think that at the end and we will see again this 34k Bitcoin because this would be the target in theory from this bigger rising wedge that we had here in the bigger 
time frame. So here the target of this rising wedge in theory is down here at around 30k. So let's hope that we are not falling below the 200 daily moving average and that we are not starting to close daily candles below this important price level. Of course, we could see something similar like here where we just had a fake out and then immediately a big recovery. But here you can see that we had the 100 daily moving average, which was saving us uh, from dropping lower. And this time the 100 daily moving average is up here, right at our main resistance of around $55,000. So if we would fall below the 200 daily moving average, there is no more a moving average in the daily time frame that could save us. And that's why things will start to look extremely ugly if we're going to lose the support. And that's why I think that Bitcoin will start at least an attempt here of pushing up towards the main resistance. But here at around $56,000, we're then going to see if this is also going to end up in a lower high compared to previous ones or if we are able to reverse the trend. Because also in the daily time frame, we are in a downtrend. And now now let's go over into the weekly time frame because this weekly close is going to be very very important especially for the CME chart because so far we are still trapped below the 20 and 50 weekly moving average so if we're going to close this weekly candle above $47,500 so above the 50 weekly moving average we can look forward for a potential attempt of pushing again towards the 20 weekly moving average and also break higher because as long as we are trapped between those two moving averages between $47,000 and $52,000 we are going to remain within those two price levels until we are going to see a clear breakout to the upside or to the downside and of course let's hope it's going to be to the upside because to the downside here you can also see on the weekly time frame the 100 weekly moving average would be the next support if we would fall below the 50 weekly moving average and that one is also down here at 30k right at the target of this bigger rising wedge so that is my worst case scenario for bitcoin for the immediate short term if here we're gonna close weekly candles below forty seven thousand dollars here on the spot market we are going uh, to close this weekly candle on sunday but on the cmes we are going to close it today and you can see that here on the CMEs, also we are still above the 50 weekly moving average, so that is good. But here you can see that we had a bearish retest of the 20 weekly moving average. We came up, we tested it, got rejected, and right now we are dropping again. But everything is still okay as long as we don't have a weekly close below the 50 weekly moving average. So let's hope that we are not getting weekly closes below it. Otherwise, I think that $30,000, so around thirty dollars to $34,000 are in here for Bitcoin if we're going to close below the 50 weekly moving average. So Bitcoin is not looking really great right now. We still have a lot of problems in front of us and wherever Bitcoin is going, of course, all the altcoins will follow. We are seeing also a big drop in Ethereum. We dropped yesterday below the EMA ribbons on the daily time frame, And here in theory, we still have the 100 daily as a support at around 4K. But if also here we're going to have daily closes below the 100 daily moving average, it's very likely that we are going to see a full breakdown towards the 200 daily moving average currently at $3,200. So everything is going to be depending where Bitcoin is heading to next. And I think that even though we could get here a potential double bottom formation in the lower time frames, as long as the support is holding at around $46,000, we have a chance to push towards that main resistance of around $56,000. And here then we're going to see if we are able to continue the bull market and the uptrend or if this is going to end up in a lower high, which will confirm us that at the end we most likely are going to crash towards uh, the 30k area again before we definitely going to find a macro bottom them in the bigger time frames and that we can head on towards new all-time highs again because remember that also here on the monthly time frame we have still that sell signal flashing and if it's going to be confirmed in this month so if december is going to close with the sell signal and also below the nine monthly moving average at forty seven thousand five hundred dollars it's very likely that we are going to test a 20 monthly moving average also at around 30k it's currently at thirty four thousand five hundred dollars so let's wait where we are going to get those uh, weekly closes and of course also the monthly close for December because this will tell us then if at the end we have to come all the way back down to retest those price ranges at around 30k or not because if Bitcoin is able to recover as soon as possible especially here on the weekly time frame 
back above the 9 and 20 weekly moving average. I think that we have very good chances for a continuation of our rally. And in that case, we will see probably around $80,000 for Bitcoin. But if we are not able to recover, things will start to look ugly here, at least in the immediate short term, because in that case, we could see a fall even down towards that 30K area. And uh, I think that also the DXY here will make a big difference because if here the DXY is able to push again towards the resistance and even break above of this $97 resistance, also this could uh, end up in a big correction and further correction in the crypto and stock market. So let's hope that the DXY here is not able to start another run up because currently we have another buy signal, we have positive money flow and we are still in an uptrend. So the DXY is still looking bullish and that of course is dangerous for the crypto and stock market and this is what we got also here yesterday over on nasdaq even though we started here a nice run up you can see that we crashed all the way back down below the 20 daily moving average and today we are testing it so if it's acting again as a resistance then it's very likely that also here we are going to continue the downtrend and after this potential lower high that we got here in comparison to the previous ones we should look forward then towards lower lows and that would confirm a downtrend in the daily time frame over on nasdaq and that could be also a bearish sign for the crypto market so let's hope that also nasdaq here is able to recover and continue a potential uptrend here because if here we are confirming a downtrend then things will start to look ugly also for the crypto market at least here in the immediate short term and probably then we will not get any kind of end of the year rally i think that that correction will last then into the beginning of 2022 all right, my friends, and with that said, they're gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. Check out all the referral links that, that you can find in the video description and also watch the live stream of the new Matrix game that is coming out. I did that live stream this morning. So if you're interested, the video is popping up at the end of this video. You are also very welcome to subscribe to this channel where I was guest and could live stream this special event. So definitely check it out and also subscribe to this channel over here. This is the place where I most of the times are live stream my games that I'm playing over on PlayStation 5. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!